Hunger is real. At the end of the day, hunger can bring you to a place where you just really feel down. Alexandria, Virginia is a city of wealth. It is one of the wealthiest districts in the country. Lavish neighborhoods hide pockets of poverty and families going hungry. You've got a population of children. Mm -hmm. Nearly all of them mm -hmm. have some question about whether they're going to eat when they leave school. Absolutely. We report on problems all the time, but we've heard from you that you want to see us do more. So we decided we would do more. We are a team of journalists dedicated to getting out of the newsroom and into your neighborhood to work together to solve a problem to make an impact. This is our only family picture with the six of us. This is my oldest, Savon, Ronnie, Javen, my only daughter, Alina, and the baby, Gianni. That's me. That's you. I try to make, you know, stuff that's fast. Bacon cooks really fast, eggs, you know, even with your income, even with the job, even with the assistance, you know, um, when you're feeding six people, you know, food runs out. So, Javen, do you know what it feels like sometimes to be hungry? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What does that feel like? Mm, my stomach, it like kind of like makes a noise, and I'm hungry, and then like I can't really for real focus that much. Your kids know what it's like to be hungry. Yes. It's like an anxiety level that I get to because it's like, oh my gosh, you know, I, I don't want them to feel like I'm not doing my part. You know, it's painful. You don't want to see your kids hungry. You don't want to see them, you know, looking for you for, you know, something that they're supposed to have. Okay, let mommy put some on your plate here. Yum, yum, yum. to take a tour of the west side of the city of Alexandria and I'm going to take you through some neighborhoods so that you can get a really good perspective of where our students come from. All up and down this North Bargard Street there are apartment complexes and so you have a mixture of low income, working class families, um, you know families that are well off they all are in this community, so it's very diverse in that sense. I'm sure you all drive up and down Duke Street, you probably wouldn't have any idea. People just kind of go on their way, not really knowing, you know, the needs that the community has. It's not that families aren't working and, not, and that they don't want to take care of their families, but sometimes it's just not enough. Has any child ever come to you personally and said, Miss Neptune, I'm hungry? Absolutely. Absolutely. So Ms. Neptune took us on a tour. This is the school here. She drove me around. And right in this immediate area are, you know, million dollar homes. The average cost of a home in Alexandria is around $500,000. So it's not surprising that most people have no clue about this, this pocket of poverty that's sort of right in the middle. So when we talk about hunger and this issue of hunger, people say it needs a face. There are a whole lot of faces at Hammond. 80% of the children at this school have some food insecurity, which means when they leave school, many of them don't know where their next meal is coming from. That shouldn't be a hidden problem. And it is really impactful when you hear children talk about what it feels like to go home hungry and not have food. At the end of the day, a thousand kids could use this food. 
there are superheroes on earth and there are angels on earth. And if you have any doubts, you can simply walk in the front door of Francis C. Hammond and talk to any one of those teachers, administrators, staffers, and you know that they are committed in a different kind of way to these children. So when you walk the halls of Hammond, mm -hmm. you wouldn't necessarily know who's Absolutely. hungry and who's not. Absolutely not. So we're standing in front of our breakfast bags. So these are the bags that we use to package our meals in the morning. Um, we serve roughly 1,300 to 1,400 meals every morning. Our motto is every student succeeds. And so if that is what we're saying, I have to find resources to ensure that every student succeeds. And success looks different for every child. Success for one child is I really need to have something to eat. Sometimes it makes me like mad. Um, makes me like doesn't let me get focused in school. Just, I don't want people to know. You feel like they'll judge you? Mm, yeah. It wrecks me, it destroys me. We can take care of kids in Virginia, and I'm worried because um, they need to eat. We have a population of 1,454 students at this point that come to school here. We are also a school that's almost 80% free and reduced lunch. So if you do the math, that's close to 1,000 families that are living at or below the poverty line. Our weekend backpack program, that really does help, at least with a couple of meals for those students. These are all meals that hopefully the students themselves can prepare at home. So we have 40 bags for 150 students and I yeah, we have to try to make it stretch. You have the tough task of having to determine which kids in a school full of need get to take this food home. What was that like for you? It's, it's really difficult because at the end of the day, a thousand kids could use this food. As a group, we've committed ourselves, you know, we want to do something, we want to be able to make an impact for these students and for your school. What can we do to make that happen? You know, we have a backpack program, but it's not reaching enough kids. We do have some resources at this point, but we're just hoping that we can amplify the amount of food that we can bring into our school in order to make sure that is one challenge that their family doesn't have to worry about. As we got into the school and we met the principal and we met the social workers and we met the kids, the process kind of started to change and it became less about this story. What we were really focused on was serving these kids. The community support is key. It's just a feeling that you really can't describe to be able to be moved with a feeling to help other people to just to give. It just takes a little bit of extra effort and life can be a lot better for a lot of people. everyone. I first want to say thank you so much for being here with us this evening. The support that we've received is overwhelming where we have people just waiting to get in and that just warms my heart in so many ways and I just thank you all for being here supporting our 1,450 students that you've probably never met. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come visit us at Hammond at any time. But again, thank you. The energy is 
phenomenal. I mean, when we look at the number of volunteers that you can't even see with the camera that we've had to turn away, that tells us that there is good still in society. There are those who really and truly want to help, and it's our job and I think our distinct responsibility to connect those who want to give and share a little bit of themselves with those in need. So tell us why you came today. What right? This is our community. These are the kids in our community, and when kids go hungry, um, that's on us. And I think we have to come together as a community to really help each other and support each other. And if there's a way we can do it, that's what we have to do. Right now, but this is just the beginning, right? Okay, that's right. Let's do it. Let's meet. Let's figure out what you need. Let's get it done. That's right. We want to support this effort all the time. It's good stuff. That's great, Pastor. <laughs> I knew the need was there, and um, when you guys presented it and uh, you said you needed the help, we always were looking for an opportunity to help, and so you were like an answer to prayer for us. We formed this incredible team between the school. And then we met with the people at the United Way. And when we went to the church and we realized that these people who were total strangers, had never met us before, just let us walk in. And we said, basically, we need your help. The group of us who've been working on this have had an opportunity to talk with children about what it feels like to be hungry. And it is really impactful when you hear children talk about what it feels like to go home hungry and not have food. <clears throat> so thank you on behalf of them for being here tonight. When we actually loaded everything up to the trucks, it was a really monumental moment. This is teamwork. It felt like the culmination of a huge, uh, a huge project, a huge victory lap for us. Makes the dream work. We packed all those boxes up. We loaded them into, I think, eight vehicles. And then when we got to the school, we got to see uh, Principal Peters. It was really a great moment. Um, it felt like all the different counterpoints were finally touching at the center. Um, and we unloaded the boxes, and we're so excited for those kids to get these meals. To finally have all those shelves filled, and to know that no kids gonna go hungry this summer from that school. It's been a while since you've seen this many bags. It absolutely has. Finally, these empty shelves will have something on them. With this contribution, we'll be able to just give it to all of the kids because we know that they could all use the food support. Honestly, I had no clue. When you watch the news, you can be overwhelmed with everything, how big it is. But this is a small local problem that's easily fixable if people just roll up their sleeves and help a little bit. There's really no reason for kids to go hungry over the summertime. No reason at all, not in a community like Alexandria. So we're happy to kick in with a little donation uh, to kind of make that work. So. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you. It has been an amazing 24 hours. We're anticipating the distribution to students and I'm just excited to see the joy on their faces um, when they see these packages coming for the weekend. How many children, what number? Isn't it one out of five? One out of five, one out of five children, yeah, That's suffers funny. from hunger in America. The community and the school has packed bags for you guys to take home for the weekend. So today is the day that you and a lot of your classmates and friends get to take these bags home for the weekend. How does that feel? Well, right now I feel excited about it. Kids get to eat. We get actually get to take it home without nobody wondering about what's going to happen when they get home and what to eat. Going into Impact, I knew that it would give us an opportunity to help a community in need. What I didn't expect was how great that need was and how much of an impact we really could have. When you sit down with these kids and you spend time with them in school, you have to look them in the eye and you start to really feel and understand what they're going through. And it's not enough to just tell their story anymore. You have to do something about it. We needed 
a bunch of help to solve this problem because it was enormous. But that was our commitment. We weren't going to leave that school the way that we found it.